Hey guys, welcome to Living the Logic. This is Manish Narayan. Today we're going to talk about Excel dynamic charts using developer tools. So in order to get started, first thing you need to do is turn on your or enable your developer tools. So what you can do is head over to your file, Excel options. Okay. And then you're going to head over to the customize ribbon. You scroll down the right, you'll see a developer option here. Go ahead and check that off. Click the OK button. On the very top of your ribbon, you're going to see a new developer tab. Okay, so the developer tab um, will assist with macros, Visual Basic for applications. Um, you're going to have some dynamic form, form controls, which we'll cover today, and then some ActiveX controls, which we can get into in, in the next set of videos. All right, so let's get started. What we'll do is create a simple budget. Okay, so I'll create an income uh, cell here, and we'll add, let's say, uh, total income. Okay, um, and then we can clean this up in a bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is add one item. Let's just call it salary, and we'll give that a value of 3,000. Okay, and then total income is the sum of whatever values I have here. So let's just say we have one, one value for now in the income. Next is the expenses. Okay. So uh, let's just add four expenses here, and we'll give it a total expenses and equals sum of these four expense values. All right, so let's give it the first one. Let's call it rent, mortgage. And again, I'm making up numbers here, so uh, feel free to punch in your own. Uh, utilities, call it electric and gas. Okay, and let me just expand column A. There we go. And we'll give that a value of 150. All right, uh, we have some groceries here. We'll give it a value of 300. And finally, uh, transportation, okay? And that's uh, fuel and uh, insurance, let's say. Okay, and that's a value of 200. All right, I want to expand column A again. Okay, perfect. So total expenses, 1650. And then let's say we have um, some savings. Okay, and we'll give it a total savings. And it's equal to sum of these two cells, uh, B13 and 14. Okay. And uh, let's call this the emergency fund with a value of 100. And finally, a retirement fund. And we'll give it a value of 150. Okay. So we have uh, 3,000 total income, 1,650 total expenses, total savings, 250. And then we want to see what our net income is. So the net income is going to be. Uh, before we before we add a formula for net income, uh, let's take advantage of a name range. So before I do that, uh, I'm going to just format these guys here. So we have um, grid borders. Okay, so we have some grid borders here, here, and here. Okay, and then I'll just uh, just highlight some of these guys. Uh, again, feel free to design your own inputs and colors and Fill colors, right? So here I have total savings, 250. Okay, and then finally in the net income. So, all right, so the net income, before we sum it up, I'm going to take advantage of the named range. So if I head over to cell B3, total income, if you hover your mouse over this address, B3, you'll notice it says name box. So head over to the name box. I'm going to give that a, a, a value of total underscore income. Okay. So going forward, this cell is actually total income. I can use it anywhere I want on the Excel sheet. Uh, if I click now on cell B10, total expenses, okay, I'm going to name that again here in the name box, total underscore expenses. Hit enter. Okay, and then the total savings of 250 in the name box, I'm going to name that total underscore savings. Hit enter. And then the net income is a formula, but it's not a formula based on the uh, address or range, cell range, like B3 minus B10 and so on, which is not, you know, readable. Um, so we're going to make life easier. We're going to say the formula is equal to, net income is equal to the total income. So if I start typing the total income, notice I get some variables. These are the sheet variables that we named. So total income, if I hover over, hit tab, it's going to be total income minus... Uh, the sum of my expenses, so the total expenses, so I can start typing total expenses, hit tab, plus my total savings, 
a tab, and notice that uh, I get 1100, and it's you know human readable here. Uh, it looks actually looks like uh, programming variables, right? So if some some of your colleagues were to open up this worksheet, they can easily uh, figure out what your complex formula is uh, without having to kind of reverse engineer what cells you clicked on. So total income minus total expenses plus total savings. Okay. So I got the net income. All right, let's go ahead and chart this. So what I'm going to do is highlight total income in 3,000. Make sure you hold the control button. Highlight total expenses and the value, 1650. Hold the control button, highlight total savings in 250. And finally, hold the control button and highlight net income in 1100. Once you have these four highlighted, head over to Insert. Click on um, the bar charts here. Okay, So you have a bar charts, column or bar chart. And uh, you can pick any one for now. Let's pick uh, let's pick this guy. Okay, 3D chart. And then uh, under the chart design, you can just you know uh, redesign that here. Choose whatever flavor you like. Okay, I'm gonna just double click the title, and let's call this my budget. Well, we'll call it my dynamic budget. Okay, and you'll see we have the total income, total expenses, total savings, net income. Now, how do I make this dynamic? All right. Uh, right now, it's just a static chart. But let's say I want to have some control uh, over, let's say, salary or you know, uh, groceries and, say, the retirement fund. Okay. So let's go ahead and move this over a little bit. Uh, notice I have a developer tab now. So I'm going to head over to developer tab. I'm going to click on insert. And I'm going to add a, you hover here, there's a spin button. There's a spin button, and there's a scroll bar. So I'm going to add a scroll bar, sorry. Scroll bar, once you click that, you can actually draw it here. So I'm going to draw it near the salary right there. Okay, so you get a little bit of uh, a horizontal scroll bar here. Uh, I'm going to, again, insert another scroll bar. So I, I choose Insert under Developer tab. And remember, the Developer tab you enabled in your Excel options. So Developer tab, Insert. Head over to Form Controls and choose Scroll Bar. Um, so click on that. And again, let's draw it near the groceries, adjacent to the groceries. Okay, perfect. And we're going to draw one more. So we'll go to Developer tab, Insert, Scroll Bar, and head over to Retirement Fund. And we're going to insert one there. All right, perfect. Now, I have some scroll bars, but they're not really controlling anything. You see, I can move the scroll left and right. I can click inside and drag it. So they're not really controlling anything. Now, how do we control, use this developer um, form control to control a, a cell? So what you're going to do is right click your first control next to salary and go to format control. Okay, you'll get a little pop up. And the cell link, you're going to choose the salary here. Click enter. And then incremental change will make that increments of, let's say, uh, 100. And click on OK. All right, notice it reset. So watch this. Look at the, the graph here, 3D graph. I got a total income of zero here. So what I'm going to do is hit the button here. Notice it starts to increase. Okay. Uh, I think I have a maximum set on that. So you can right click, format control, uh, maximum value. Let's just make that uh, 10,000. Okay, click on OK. All right now, notice I can head over here. Start to drag it, okay, and my chart becomes dynamic. Notice as as I click, the graph is changing. It's dynamic chart based on this custom control. Okay, perfect. Let's uh let's do the same for the groceries. So I'm going to right click the form control, the second one, format the control, choose the cell link, click on the groceries value, three hundred dollars, hit enter, and maximum values let's put a thousand there. And we'll put incremental change again, maybe uh, 100, or let's put 50. Click on OK. Perfect. It starts at zero. I can start to increase this. Notice how my total expenses and my net income changes as I increase this. Okay. So notice I can click anywhere here. I can drag it, and you'll see the chart dynamically changing. All right, which is pretty cool. Now again, you can use these controls anywhere you like. Uh, you know, um, I have a lot of uh, you know, professionals and students who work with engineering, engineering data uh, on Excel.
uh, they load it from various source systems and they need to kind of finally control find control you know the values using um, some activist activist controls as well as VBA or uh, form control so again this is pretty cool it's pretty simple to use uh, and allows you to make dynamic charts dynamic data um, kind of showcase a uh, dashboard to your coworkers, right? Um, it looks like magic there. <laughs> uh, you start clicking left and right and dynamically change the chart. All right, so uh, let's do the same for retirement fund and then we'll we'll uh, end the video. So I'm gonna right click the retirement fund scroll bar, format control, uh, choose a cell link, retirement fund of 150, choose that cell value, which is cell B14, hit enter. And retirement fund will put a maximum value of 500 and uh, incremental change, we'll just make it, uh, let's put $75, click OK. All right, so notice as I change the uh, retirement fund, which is a max of, min of zero, max of 500, uh, it allows me to change the dynamic chart in total savings. So uh, again, we covered developer ribbon, the developer tools, uh, insert form controls, uh, in specifically the scroll bar here and uh, allowed us to uh, make our chart dynamic uh, as well as uh, we use some name ranges right in our formula for the net income uh, notice it's made up of total in underscore income total expenses total savings which we named in our name box here well hope you had fun thanks for watching and uh, please uh, go ahead and watch my other videos um, just FYI I have uh, you know paid full courses professional courses on Excel engineering uh, parts one and two on my Udemy platform so feel, feel free to check it out uh, if you need free coupons uh, or discounted coupons just message me and I'll be happy to provide them so I hope you have a good day thanks hey guys if you found the video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content see you next time